Hello, in this video I'll show you how you can determine the project duration and how you can determine also the critical path of a certain project using the forward and backward path. So first, we're having a list of activities here with the duration of each, act of each activity and also the dependency. It means here, A, it's the sort, it doesn't depend on any other activity. However, B, it takes five days and it depends on A. And here also we're having the diagram. In this diagram, I have to put the activity name, the duration, the early start, late start, the early finish, and late finish. So as you can see here, I already put the different uh, activities that we're having and the duration of each activity. So we start with A. This is the first activity in our project. So it starts at time zero. So zero plus four, four, okay? It means this is the early finish. Then we know that B, it takes five days and it depends on A. So I have to wait till A it finishes. So it starts on the fourth day, okay? Four plus five, it's nine. And also we have C that depends also on A. So it starts on the fourth day and four plus three, it's seven. Then we're having D. D depends on B, okay? So D depends on B, so it starts on the ninth day, nine plus five, it's 14. We continue with E, okay? It depends on C. So it starts seven, seven plus one, it's eight. And also F, it depends on C. So also it's seven plus two, nine. As you can see here, G, it depends on both uh, D and E, so D and E. And as you can see, we're having two different dates, okay? However, I cannot start G, okay, if D, it's not already done. So this is why whenever I'm going forward, okay, I take the higher number or the bigger number that we're having. So here we're having 14 and 8, so I take 14. 14 plus 4, okay, it's 18. Also, and finally, we're having H. H depends on F, okay, and G. So we're having a similar case here. So I have to wait till G, it's already done. So I take the bigger number between G and F, which is 18. So 18 plus 3, it's 21. So now I determined here the project duration. It means this project, it will take 21 days in order to be accomplished. Now we have to go backward. So backward, 21, I start with the duration, minus three, it's 18, okay? And here G means 18, 18 minus four, it's 14. The same H here, it's 18, Okay, minus two, it's 16. So here, as we said before, it's the late finish and the late start. So uh, G, it depends on both D and E and we're going back. So it's 14 here and here it's 14 as well. 14 minus five, it's nine. 14 minus one, it's 13, okay. Here, as you can see, because both E and F, they depend on C. And the late start for E, it's 13, and the late start for F, okay, it's 16. So I cannot be more late than 13 for E, okay? So this is why when I'm going backward, I take the smaller number, okay? Because I cannot start on the 14th or the 16th, uh, 16th day here. This is why I have to choose the smaller number when I'm going backward. So the smaller between 16 and 13, it's 30. 13 minus 3, it's 10. And here we're having also 9. 9 minus 5, it's 4. We're having a similar case here because B and C, they depend uh, both on A, okay? And we're having 10 
and four. So I cannot be more late than four. This is why I take the smaller number here. So here four minus four, it's zero. Because we're having zero, it means we uh, are working correctly. So now we went backward. In order to determine the critical path, we're having a critical path when the early finish, it's the same as the late finish. So you can see it here in A. Okay, also in B. Also on, in D. Because the early finish, it's the same as the late finish. The same on G and also on an H, okay? So here, this is the critical path that we're having. It's A, B, D, G, H. Why it's critical? Because if I'll have any delay in one of these activities here, imagine that we're having a delay in D, and start, instead of starting on the ninth day, we are starting on the 10th day, it means, I will have a delay in the whole project and I'll finish on the 22 uh, day, okay? So this is why in, it's called the critical because if I'm having any delay in one of these activities, the whole project will be delayed. However, in E, for example, I can be delayed five days, okay? Six days even because I can start instead of the seventh day, I can start on the 13th and it won't affect the duration of the project. Thank you for watching. If you're having any question, please leave it in the comments and stay tuned for future videos.